Welcome back to Perch Pro 2018. It's the second day of the competition and all the teams are back and ready to battle, doing everything they can to win. The previous day was insane with a monster perch caught by CWC fishing team with an incredible weight of 2.255 kilos. That's a dream fish, especially during a competition. Ilex Gunky had the number point almost the whole day, but they were beaten in the end by Team Sporting by a margin of only three perch. If we look at the scoreboard after the first day of fishing, we can see that CWC Fishing Team have one point and Team Sporting have one point. It's still a very open competition and everything can happen. This season of Perch Pro, the teams can fish for a maximum of 10 hours per day, so they have to be smart. Do they want to fish mornings or evenings? The first team to hit the water today is Vision Fly Dressing with Daniel Barryman and Stefan Jensen. They have changed lake, but they're still up there in the north of Sweden. Okay, it's uh, 6.42 in the morning. Um, we're in uh, another lake than or another location than yesterday uh, we got fish hunting uh, this is actually the oh, same on. system yeah. as we fished last year uh, but uh, it's a bit further up we're gonna give it a go we need to get some some numbers and hopefully one big fish on 2.3 kilos <laughs> <laughs> so now we're fishing this oh yeah the first one whoa rock and roll baby now we're fishing this river system um, because we had to do something different yesterday, we were totally out of out of game, so we had to just leave it. Change and, something. Yeah, change something. And hopefully we could keep up with numbers here. We've been struggling, but I'm, I'm pretty used to catching fish in my first cast, but that doesn't, yeah, mean, it doesn't mean anything. But this is a good looking counter. Yes. Yeah. Good fish. More than approved. So. Yep. So. Ooh. Another one bites the dust. Uh, we need our clickers, man. It's not millimeters away. It seems like Vision Fly Dressing found them immediately, but in order for the fish to count, they need to be over 30 centimeters, and it looks like they're catching a lot of smaller fish. No. <laughs> uh, that could be what we call a ro uh oh. Oh. Ha ha. First one, 30. There we go. Uh, so it's about two meters deep and therefore uh, we're using the abo kits with the sink 3 uh, line that's a perfect line for this uh, depth and also together with the martins minnow works really well we get down to the bottom pretty fast and we can hold it close to the bottom Good start for the fly guys, and if this was yesterday and they kept catching fish at the same rate, they would easily have won the number point. CWC fishing team just woke up in the Netherlands and it's really windy outside. It seems like both CWC fishing team and Ilex Gunky will have a tough day of fishing today due to the weather. As on the last day, they are both fishing in the same area in the southern part of the Netherlands. Quite uh, rough weather today, and uh, we have discussed all the morning how to handle this day. Uh, what do you say, Ebert? Will we go to the stick with the plan and go for the big fish? Yeah. We have two options today. We go to our spot from yesterday. We we are 100% sure that there was uh, that there is big fish. Well, we proven it because Jimmy caught a 2.2 yesterday and the day before on practice day I caught a 1.8, so we know that the fish is there. The only problem now is, is the wind, it, it, it's a long, a long lake and the wind is straight over, so 
so we have not any shelter and, and there is high waves I think maybe up to one over one meter so it will be rough it will be maybe on the edge maybe even dangerous but we, we must see it with our own eyes once we're on the water but winning this Perch Pro competition it's our only chance to to beat especially Frederick because he's on the same water and I think he will fish the sheltered area and I think we must do hardcore fishing all or nothing fish on the edge hardcore and and give it a chance for one fish you know? because otherwise he will beat us definitely so it's it's we have no choice and and go out and be extreme fishermen Vision Fly Dressing is still the only team that have started to fish. They think the morning fishing on that particular spot is much better than the evening fishing. Vision Fly Dressing is up to speed. Yes, sir. So at the moment, Daniel is keeping a way higher pace than I am. Uh, catching fish is all, in almost every single cast, and, and I'm only getting a nibble every now and then. He's running a green fly. And I'm going to try a green fly. It's not going to be the exact same, but the colours. Maybe that will help. Let's see. Still too small. Uh, now we got the speed. Uh, damn. But most of the guys are too small. And that one is also too small, but it's not that far away. Close, but no cigar. <laughs> yeah, the average length is like 28 and a half centimeters. <laughs> we need new measurements in this competition. A nibble too short. Mm. Thing is, we got uh, probably over 20 fish, uh, but we got four that are approved. Uh, over 30 centimeters which is a bit concerning. Yes, yeah, so now the fishing is on and we need to, to leave this school of fish to, to see if we can get the, the average size up. Um, we'll move a bit higher up in this stream. While Vision Fly Dressing are moving upwards in the stream, Ilex Gunki with Frederick Julian and Thomas Engert are the second team to hit the water. Yesterday we came from uh, hero to zero, zero point. Uh, we are quite disappointed. We, we thought we could make better. Uh, not so disappointed for the numbers, that's not our goal, but uh, really disappointed not to get the, the big one. So today we just keep doing what, uh, what we do best, is fishing. And uh, anyway, the big ones are there. It's just a matter of uh, founding them and uh, getting them on the boat. Uh, we are quite satisfied anyway. The, the, we get some massive fish and many of them. So we, we really think that uh, if we keep armoring with the same type of bait and, uh, and the same thinking, uh, we know where they are. It's just a matter of, of catching them when they are active. So um, we saw yesterday a peak of activity and uh, now New days, new expectation. Let's go for that. As you will remember, both CWC fishing team and Ilex Gunky are expected to have problems with the wind during this day's fishing. How do you cope with that problem, Thomas? Will there be any change in tactics? Yes, of course, of uh, the strong wind today, we cannot stand out, stay out in, in the open water. So we look a little bit for shelter and fishing, start fishing uh, today uh, in the channel where the wind is not so strong and the waves are not so high. But uh, anyway, there are big fish around. I know from Fred, for sure. We try to catch them and uh, if weather is going, weather is go going a little bit better, we maybe we go out on the open water again. So let's start. So to sum it up, Ilex Gunki are fishing smaller, more sheltered channels. And if the winds calm down, they will fish where they were yesterday. Vision Fly Dressing had now arrived at their new spot and since they're fishing a very small river, they should have absolutely no problem with the wind. What do you think, Daniel? This looks very good. Yeah, we'll try this. We want to... 
I would like to go just a bit high up. Uh, see if I can get closer to the vertical structure. Hey, look at the sonar, dude. <laughs> we got some fish here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Come on, be a little bit better fish. Make yourself count. Uh, I think we might have one on the scoreboard. That one is definitely approved, and at the same time, Daniel Barryman catches a fish as well. Well done. Ooh. Click. Double, Double click. Double click. <laughs> Good. <laughs> If we take a look at the scoreboard, Vision Fly Dressing are off to a great start today with 12 fish caught, while the other teams haven't caught a single fish yet. Team Sporting's plan is to fish in the evening, but on their way to the water, they found something very interesting. Viewer discretion is advised. Haha! -ha. This is Norland. Hunting in the morning, fishing in the afternoon. That's the way to do it. 500 pounds, at least. That's around how many perch we're gonna catch oh, today. Oh, that's that's just as many perch we're gonna catch today. Tonight we're gonna be night fishing. We're gonna fish as as late as we can to do something different. We think it's gonna be really cool, and we are really sure that we're gonna see some nice perches and maybe hopefully a lot of perch. The the result yesterday shocked us quite a lot, and but we. Actually, now we see we have a chance to take the number point for the next two days because the lake we're going to now is loaded with perch. Not as big as the one yes lake yesterday, but still there's a really good chance to get a bunch of points and of course we will try our best to get that. No gas, no perch. If we complained about the wind yesterday, we're going to complain even more today. As Stefan said, we're going to a big, big lake. So uh, this can be both interesting and scary, but that's how we like it. Oh, what a take. Whoa, that's something strange. Whoa, that's something but it with is big head. It's fighting like a perch. Oh, 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 oh. That's as big too. Dude, <laughs> shit, what, what's going on here? Both Stefan and Daniel are hooked up. These are exciting times in the competition. Ah. Whoa. <laughs> uh, I'll get you in the net. Mine is down under the bridge here. Oh, thank you. That's a nice fish. Ah, come on. Uh, let's get it in the net. Ooh, that's a nice oh. fish. Awesome, dude. <laughs> Two good fish in the net there. Well done. Time to weigh them, and Stefan starts with the smallest of them. Whoa, look at that fish. Nice fish. 0 0.9. And now the biggest fish of the day so far. Let's see how much this day's new top fish weighs. 1.08. 1.08. <laughs> cool. Well done. Right now, it seems like it was a good decision to start early for Vision Fly Dressing. They've caught 15 perch with a top weight of 1.08 kilos, and none of the other teams have caught a single fish. A perch of just over one kilo is a decent fish, but it probably won't be enough. But you never know. As Daniel said before, it might be the start of something great. Down in the Netherlands, Frederik and Thomas are struggling in the wind and they haven't felt anything yet. They can see fish underneath the boat, but they don't want to bite. Thomas tries the boogie craw that worked great yesterday. Ha ah, fuck! Ilex Gunky are now hooked up with their first fish for day two. Let's see if the average size is as good in the channel as it was yesterday. Yes. Dynamic enough? Yeah. Good job. Yeah. First keeper of the day. 
nice fish, 35, 35 centimeters, I suppose, on a on a hurrah craw, boogie craw, sorry. On a very heavy chick head, 25 grams slide. Okay, let's go on. On the left side, we oh, fish on. I'll attack it, I'll take it, I'll take it. Come on. Keep her. It could be, yeah. Uh, yes, yes, I think. I take care. They are between the. They are right there. Uh, yeah. Fish on. Keeper. While Ilex Gunky start to catch some fish, CWC fishing team are going out late. Do you guys think some of the other teams are already out on the water? Well, I can only speak for, for uh, Frederick because he's in the same area. And if he's wise, he did the same because he checked the for, uh, weather forecast as well. And uh, when you see the weather forecast, especially the wind, we checked it the uh, wind guru because that is pretty much accurate regards wind. The wind will slow down in the evening just a little bit more. That's why we are so easy on going uh, in the morning because we want to fish until the dark because the best conditions will be in the late evening. So I think Frederick has checked the weather forecast as well and, and he did the same. Well, For the other teams, I don't know. I think they will hit the water yeah. as early as possible. And the extra benefit of this is also, uh, my experience is, is the best biting hours are in uh, late evening. So we have double luck, so to say. The wind will slow down, better biting hours in the evening. Yeah. Uh, hopefully it pays off, like hopefully, yesterday. Yeah. Before launching the boat, Everett and Jimmy stop close to a bridge to see if it's even possible to fish where they want to. It doesn't look promising at all. You have a problem just to stand straight out in the boat. Far away out there, it's, I don't know. It's not going to be easy. This is really, really tough. I think we can manage to come there, but can you fish in yeah. these conditions? Oh man, why? Why? I think it's foolish to go out here now. Shall we wait a couple of hours? Fish here to two o'clock? I think seeing this. I think we don't we don't do it. To be fair, you can't fish. You're standing like this. I think we drive back to the other trailer ramp. Don't you think that this is the worst area for the wind? And it's coming down a little bit when you are up there? No, 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 no. It's look better when we come at the road and look out. Listen, we are here behind the bushes. Yeah, yes, that's true. And there it's, it's totally open. I think we have to go back to the other ramp and put in the boat there, like a plan, uh, our plan B. Okay. And then if the wind will calm uh, down a little, we go to the sluice uh, in the evening and drive out. That, that's the best plan we can make now. Hey, we didn't do our first cast, so we don't lose any fishing time. We, we are still on schedule to fish the 10 hours. But go out now, it's, here, look. Waves over one meter. Yeah, I see, I see. It's, it's crazy. Yeah. Okay. We can go out yeah. with the boat, but it's almost impossible to yeah. fish. It's what it is. <sighs> Why? Why? Always like this. It's that. always like this. CWC fishing team decides to change spot to a more sheltered area, like the one Ilex Gunky are fishing in. But the wind has picked up and it's hard to fish in those places too. How do you work around that problem, Frederick? Yeah, in such hard wind conditions, uh, the jig head played a, a big role. The weight of the jig head played a big role because uh, if you 
if you try to fish too light, you are never going to feel anything and you are never going to control where your bait is passing. So the only solution, technical solution you have is really to go heavy and to fish kind of fast and more at least much more in uh, contact with your bait, which is a key point anyway. You need to be in contact with your bait. So um, if you fly away above the fish, they are, they are not going to make the effort to swim to your bait. So use heavy jig head, that's the only solution in this wind. For example, this on this boogie crow, I use uh, 21 to 28 gram today. Uh, and that's uh, 21 is really the minimum. This place is a little bit shelter. Every time we're gonna go uh, really straight in the wind, I'm going to climb to 28 easily to get a better control. Here I'm using, uh, for the crow, I'm using a, a football, but uh, I'd rather use a slide jig head on, um, uh, on the shad, because uh, here since I'm hopping my bait on the bottom, I want the, the football head is more convenient. But uh, if I drive a shad, I'd rather use a dynamic head with a kind of a conic head, because uh, this uh, conic shape is going to glide through the water much more and you're gonna probably fish uh, lighter uh, despite of the wind you know it's uh, the, the shape of the head is playing a big role in the drag of, on the water so you can reduce the weight by changing the shape of your head to stay ahead of the game you have to stay sharp You're such a wise man. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Good take. Oh, nice fish. <laughs> oh, it's a golden one. A little bit. Good man. And, uh, it's slightly golden. Awesome. Look at that beauty. Well done. <laughs> Awesome. Uh, as we said, we are in the same water system as last year, and you can see we have the yellow perch here too. Cool. Look at that. Wow. This is the fly we've been using all morning. Uh, it's a Chartreuse Replice uh, fiber version of the Martin's Minnow. I fish it <laughs> in different ways, but both really slow close to the bottom uh, and some faster twitches in between it's been, it's been uh, working well so far jiggy fly team sporting is launching the boat and it's relatively late in the day although since their plan is to fish in the darkness they'll still get their maximum of 10 hours of fishing in All right, finally on the water. Uh, the it's time 10, is, uh, it's 10 30. 10 30. And now we're going for numbers. This is a really big lake. And it's really, really deep also. Uh, in the training fishing, we have uh, catch so big numbers of uh, decent fishes here. Yeah. Uh, so we have uh, good faith in, uh, in this day. It's a little bit windy. Uh, the weather is not very good. Not the best, this, but. Uh, but it seems like yesterday's been bad weather for everybody yeah. else too. So. We think we have a really good chance to catch a lot of fish. Yeah. And when we heard the scoreboard yesterday, uh, this will be a game changer for us. Yeah. Now we now we know we can. Uh, we get, have a good get, chance get, to get. We have a really good chance to get the, the number the point. number point on this uh, on this area. And then you know, if CWC doesn't get the big fish every day, then we have a chance. Or else we're gonna have a great fishing, uh, and we love but that we, too. We, sh we shall remember also this this lake. Uh, you can get really big perch yeah. on them also. Yeah. Uh, but the main thing here, we will uh, we will catch numbers, and hopefully we can catch uh, a big one as well. There's always a good chance.
Right now fishing uh, drop shot because now I want uh, the bait uh, sink really fast. Uh, and I use um, ESOX gear Curly Lucy. I go start with a with a paddle tail jig, a Lucy paddle tail. I'm using a 18 grams Gamma Katsu head from Spro, who is super, super sharp, really good quality, and a long fluorocarbon leader from Gamma Katsu. And uh, because he start drop shot, I start do the normal jigging. So uh, let's get one now. Yeah, it took about five minutes, and now the first perch is coming. But I'm afraid this one is a little, little too small. Little baby one, too small. No click. Second fish, okay. And definitely a competition fish, no problem with that. Come on, this is, this is enough, I think. Yeah, this gotta be enough. One centimeter too short, straight under the boat. First click for me, game on. Too small, too small, too small. Too small, too small, too small. But we knew it's gonna be like this. We catch three or four of this size, and then we have one around 30 or 33 or something. We have, we have caught bigger here also. Fishing has totally died on us uh, during the last hour. Well, the last hour we didn't even catch a fish. No. Um, so we are going to do something drastic, a bit drastic. Yeah, we need to find the minnows. That's the thing. We need to find bait fish. Uh, it seems as if they have disappeared from the face of the earth. This is a win or lose situation, actually. Yeah. It might work and it might go like, hmm, but yeah. We're not here to, to play it safe, are we? No, let's no. try it. Yeah. Vision fly dressing is changing spot from the river to the lake in the hope of finding some big schools of bait fish. At the same time, it's 11 o'clock and time for the hourly report. Second hour, we had three fish, and the top weight was 890 grams. You know, it's really tough today with this strong wind, so we were forced even more to go out of the wind for not breaking you know our batteries completely in half a day we have to think about uh, fishing all the day and we have no spare batteries you know so uh, on that one point we we get three nice fish and uh, two more bites but then it don't produce anymore and we um, we decide to change and going from spot to spot trying have a few casts, if it don't work, we go to another one. This is our tactic for the next two hours. Okay. Finally at the water. The reason that we are so late on the water is because we want to fish the late hours. First uh, we wanted to go to our uh, number one spot, but I think it was dangerous to go out over there because of the high waves. Even now in, in, in this sheltered area of the wind, it, it's, it's big, big waves. I can't even stand on the casting deck because then I will fall off probably. So we stand on the floor as low as possible and try to make the best of it. It's, it's, I think it's better pike fishing weather now than perch fishing. We change our uh, jig heads from eight gram now up to 15 or 18 gram to get any feeling with the bottom. But hey, it is what it is and we try to do the best of it. And it's hardcore fishing, but yeah, we're here and now and we can't change anything about it. At least it's dry and sunny. And we had a first strike already, and I yeah, hope for the best. Keep on hammering.
Ja. Net? Ja, it, it, maybe it's not the... No, is it the perfect again? It's quite good. Is it? Oh, it could not be a perch. It felt like a perch at the beginning, but now it's just... Sender. I hope it's yeah, a perch. It's just pulling around. Put down the net. Sender. No, Sander. Shit. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> we are the Sender Kings! Yes. <laughs> I'm a little bit surprised. First it felt like a uh, perch, but then it's starting just to go around and yeah. Ah, okay, well, it's, it's, it's nice. fun fishing. It's fun course. fishing, yeah. of course. Yeah. Vision fly dressing didn't find any bait fish in the lake, so they went back to the river and got activity immediately. Oh, it's a big fish. It's a big fish. Yeah. Oh. You want me to take? Oh, yeah. I think it's okay. Uh. Oh, good ah. man, good man. Awesome. Whoa. Beautiful fish. Look at that beauty. These guys are so fun to catch. Okay, swing back. Martin's me now. Uh, tied on a jig hook, weighted in the front. Fish it like a jig over the bottom. It works wonders sometimes. And some smell. We actually have a uh, tight V of this fly, uh, which is a uh, instructional fly tying video. Uh, whoa! And as you can see, it works quite well. Check it out up here. <laughs> there seems to be another double hookup. Nice fish, and we are have a double hookup. You want the net? Nah, it's okay. It's no. It's no 1400. Oh, now we need to be fast and take care of this excellent oh. fishing. No. Oh, no, 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 no. That looked like a nice fish. Yeah. So, it's so midday and uh, I've been trying many, many different spots and uh, mainly seeking for shelters spot but uh, so far very very little fish not uh, not confident at all uh, in finding the fish today it's uh, it's really really difficult but um, we keep trying and uh, we're gonna we're gonna find them Of course, often in, uh, in strong wind and big waves, crank, crankbait works very well. And I try to search some, some fish, maybe suspended fish, around uh, in, in mid-water with a, with a diving, diving crank like this diving cherry, to maybe to find some fish somewhere. I just keep trying and uh, Fred is meantime fishing on the bottom. So we have two options. Yeah, it's very uh, important that you take the opportunity when there's a wind to catch uh, fish that are activated. And um, uh, if you fish too much on the bottom and while they are hunting around and, uh, and chasing fish, you might miss the activity. So we don't know about that, but with the two of us, we fish very different techniques. So like this, we uh, hopefully uh, gonna target some fish on one spot. Wait, 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 net, 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 net. It's not the big. No, but it's the first part of the day. No, I, I think we have to scale this one, yeah. just to be sure. Yeah, why not? First one of the day. Small one, but yeah, still a perch. We're on the list. One point. Yeah, big fish. Good, good. This is on not the, a sender. On the blade? Yeah, on the blade. And this is not a sender and it feels good. Because it fights like a perch. Uh, no, it's not a big one, but... 
It looks good. Yeah. Two, 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 two for what? the price of one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two for the price two of one. one. Good, my friend. <laughs> but this this one looks nice. Two for That's the price. That's how you should do it in, when you so are when in competition. So when you struggle, just catch two in one. <laughs> Look, it's not a monster, but it's a perch. It's a perch. Yeah, this is way over. Off she goes. That was nice. Two for the price of one. <laughs> well done, Everts. That was a lot of fun. The perch is really jealous by nature, so that happens sometimes. Unfortunately, only one of them was over 30 centimeters and approved for the competition. Vision fly dressing keeps hammering them. So what's your goal before the 12 o'clock report, Stefan? We need, we need to hit 40 before the lunch report. Yes. Beauty of a perch. 39 fish and half of them we caught the last half an hour. So there you can actually see that sometimes it's just, you need to hit the right time of the day. Oh, yes, good. Oh, 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 oh. The thing is that they are so strong, so I don't want to jump to any conclusions, but... Let me know if you need a hand. Yeah. It's a big fish, but I can handle okay. it. Oh, look at that. Oh. Good, man. Look at that. Oh, beautiful fish. Beautiful. <laughs> I don't trust my, myself anymore, so I want to weigh this. Uh, I don't think it's over one kilo, but I want to try. I want to weigh it at least. Uh, no, it's 0 0.92. Okay. No new top fish, 0 0.92, but a beautiful fish. Beautiful. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> we got a rod here. The time is closing in on the last report for the competition. After this phone call, they will fish in the dark, not knowing what the other teams are catching. This time, they will reveal how many fish they've caught, the biggest fish, and where they are fishing. What do you think, Stefan? Where do you think the other teams are fishing? I still think that CVC is in Holland, and probably that Gonki is in France. And uh, the fly guys are definitely in Sweden. I said that all the time. I still believe that. I probably think it's going to need uh, more than 40 fish like yesterday. Today ain't going to be enough with 40. I probably need... Uh, somebody's going to go for more fish than yesterday. Everybody went for big fish yesterday. Nobody went for the numbers. Somebody's going to go for the numbers. Donkey, I think, maybe fly dressing. I'm not really sure. But to be sure to get a point today, you probably need to have 120, 130 fish. That's what I think. I hope not, but that's what I think. We'll see. Okay, Evert, what do you think? I don't give a beep. And uh, the reason why is we have to do it ourselves. And of course, it's important what the other teams will do because in the end of the day, the, the, the numbers and, and the big fish will count. But Hey, anyway, we have to catch the big one ourselves. We do our thing and that's what it is. It's, it's not in a way that we are arrogant or so, far from that, but, but it's our competition against the rest. And we have to battle, you, you see it like here, we, we have to battle for ourselves. And that's what we are doing, me and Jimmy. Yeah, where are they, the other team? We don't care. We don't uh, care. I, I have no idea. <laughs> you can be wherever you want. As soon as you catch less fish than, than, than us. us. <laughs> yeah. But is it possible to catch less? <laughs> we had a really that's, slow start today. <laughs> we've but, you we've know, free fish this morning. We have, we have, we have a lot of hours uh, left over. So uh, we keep uh, being positive.
Hello guys, this is Team Sporting SE. Total amount of perch is five and uh, no weight. We haven't weighed them. We're in the northern parts of Sweden and we're fishing lake. This is Frederik Julien, Ilex Gunki. We are in the south part of Holland and we are fishing in lakes. Uh, this morning we have three fish, top weight 890 grams. Uh, hi, Daniel Vision Fly Dressing here. Uh, we have total amount of fish 45 and biggest fish 1.08. And we are in uh, middle northern Sweden, in a small river. This is uh, Averton Jimmy from uh, CWC fishing team. We have now uh, two fish, no weight. And we are in the southwest part of the Netherlands. Cool. Okay, happy hunting guys. Thank you. Okay, bye bye. bye. Good luck, guys. Bye. 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 Good luck. Bye. bye. All right. Vision has stepped up enormously. And CVC have the same, actually, uh, the same as yesterday. Two fishes with no weight. This is, uh, when it comes to numbers, this is even better than what I thought for our scenario. Uh oh. So, decision is clear. Big fish. We have no other chance. It's not no other chance. That's our chance. That's our chance, yeah. 45 yeah, no. fish is a really good result. Yeah, good result. And good you see, result. CVC, two fish, we are free. But with 800, maybe they have 800, they didn't measure. But so this is the number to beat, 108. Yeah. yeah. So we know what we are going to do. Well, you see, as a Specialist of numbers, only three. Yeah, it's hard here. So it's good that we have two in uh, one see, hour. I, th I think I think nobody can beat no, this number. No. So they will go definitely for the number points. Yes. So this is our goal. Yeah. Again. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, we're still yeah. on track. Go yeah. for the big one. Holland, Holland, uh, northern Sweden, as we imagined. And we are crushing numbers, and we have got the biggest fish so far. But, but that that's not is that's not gonna last. No. So Vision is going for numbers, and they have caught a decent one. Gunky is still hunting for the big one, and CVC of course hunting for all the big fish. Yeah. So, uh, but and Vision 45 already. They have probably start really early in the morning, and we start. No. Yeah, <laughs> we start an hour ago. Now it's clear for the day. Change to bigger baits. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we need to fish precise. Yeah. Then we need to be precise. Uh, position, be careful in the positioning of the boat. And get the, uh, the big one and then in between. Fish precisely. We take two, three, four baits and then we turn. We turn with this. That's it. If we continue numbers, they cannot catch up. I don't think they can catch up either way. Well, uh, never say never. But no, but uh, yeah, we have 40 fish. The sign behind us sort of sums it up. We're in the ledning, as we say in Swedish. We're in the lead. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get some fish. <laughs> we gotta step up. Yeah, definitely. We're gonna. We, we need this school of fish, and we got. Uh, really have to hurry up, yep. I think. Let's go, Hunter. Yeah, let's go. Yep. Yep. Let's do it. That's the food. Let's do, do it. it. Do it. If we take a look at the leaderboard, we can see that Vision Fly Dressing clearly has the lead in numbers. However, you have to keep in mind the fact that they started to fish really early and they don't have that much fishing time left. Vision Fly Dressing also hold the biggest fish point with a perch of 1.08 kilos. It could be enough since both CWC Fishing Team and Ilex Gunky are struggling with the wind and Team Sporting are going for numbers. We'll find out in the next episode. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to Canal Gratis so you don't miss the next episode. My name is Philip O'Connor and you're watching Perch Pro 2018.